Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. A lot of FC24 users are getting compensation from EA for a mistake that EA made yesterday with one of the SBCs that we had during this Team of the Year content. I want to talk about that today and how when these sorts of things happen, they usually don't just happen once. So we'll be on the lookout for more situations like that. And today's a Monday, usually a bit quieter of a day in terms of content that we get. With things starting to quiet down, do we need to look at the market a little bit for some potential investments? And will some of these Team of the Year cards, especially the honorable mentions, start to rise? We're going to talk about that today and what else to expect in this game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go into the Objectives tab. One of the things that we're going to be doing this week on this game is playing the cup, right? Whether you need packs, whether you don't need packs, or just you need the XP, you want to grind the game, this is a good gameplay mode. Honestly, this is a one of the better cups, in my opinion, that we have had. Not just because it gives decent packs, but because it gives you players and XP as well. Guys, the team of the year cup, um, it's not that difficult. You do have to win 10 games. It's five per day, but you get some decent packs and players as a part of it. For the players, you get Jesus Navas. This car is not that great. Four star, three star. At least it's a team of the year on Blenchens item. You get the whip pass plus um, La Liga, right? Not terrible. You also get Carolyn Nicoli inside of this from the NWSL Brazilian. Four star, four star with finesse plus. Can also play striker and right mid, right wing. 98 stamina. Really interesting uh, play style plus here with the finesse plus, but then also having jockey technical and trivella so pretty interesting card there and then also Benini, which i think the evo version of Benini looks a little bit better than this but she's got really good play styles as well she has four star four star center mid and left wing and then of course the packs that you get from this you get an 83 times five you get an 84 times two 83 double those are not too bad of packs but the only issue i have with this cup is it requires a team of the year but don't let that scare you because at first, I thought that it was like only team of the year cards. But actually, if you go into it, build a squad, and kind of test it out, it is actually any team of the year icon, any team of the year honorable mention, or team of the year player, whether it's a loan or a regular version, you can put that into this. So if you're like, Nate, I don't have any team of the year as well, you can still play this cup. That was one thing that I was worried about. And actually, really interestingly enough, you can get a lone Kevin De Bruyne today. Everybody has the chance of getting a lone KDB today from watching the pro event. So that's one thing. If you want to use a team of the year KDB, uh, you'll be able to watch the pro event today and get yourself this card and then use it in the cup. So a little bit grindy, of course. Yes, but that is there. Now let's talk about the SBCs because that's where kind of all the content went down yesterday on this game with the SBCs that we got. First of all, we had the 85 plus times three attacker SBC, which as expected was the most expensive of the 85 plus times threes. And uh, yeah, it's like 90,000 coins. 99,000 coins to do this SBC but this is a craftable one that's you know it's just where you're doing it for the chance of packing a team of the year basically that's what you're doing it for and it's expensive but at this time of the year you're just kind of doing it because you want to because you try to want to try to pack a team of the year also the 88 plus base Thunderstruck winter wild cards icon player pick came back the exact same SBC that a lot of you guys are doing earlier during the week and on the weekend um, same requirements as well not too shabby there a lot of people were doing those yesterday but the SBC that we're really talking about is the hero player pick and if I tried to show you it on the game you wouldn't find it because it's not there so we got the icon and the hero picks both yesterday but EA had to remove the hero player pick and here's the story on the situation and let's talk about this compensation right so they dropped this SBC yesterday it says 87 plus in the title it says 87 plus on the logo of the SBC but when you look at the actual player pick it was 86 Plus, So this was like a situation right away as we were watching on stream, we realized like, okay, that's a mistake. And that is a compensation type situation. So a lot of us that were on the stream around content time, were doing this SBC right away because you could do it two times, right before um, it was two times repeatable before you couldn't do it anymore. And uh, we were doing it right away because 70,000 coins, it's not that expensive. It was two squads, one of which did require an inform. It was an 83 and an 85. And I think it was the 83 rated squad that required an inform. Yes, it was. So it's coming out to a pretty, pretty cheap price, especially with a lot of us having those 82s, 3s, 4s, and a couple 85s in our club and a lot of team of the weeks from crafting the upgrades during team of the year. It's really easy to get this done. So a lot of us were going and getting this done. And I have to say, I didn't pack that grade of cards. I think I packed uh, Joe Cole, 
triple threat because the triple threat and the UCL heroes were in this. And then I forget who my other card was. I'm going to search the card really, club really fast. Um, it was Joe Cole, Triple Threat, and Govu. But I had 86s in both of my player picks, guys. So, with that being the mistake, right? Again, it says 87 plus in the text and on the graphic. And then the actual player pick itself was 86. EA, about an hour and a half, hour and 47 minutes after the SBC was released, they said, we've identified an issue where it was incorrectly giving out 86 plus items. So we kind of, if you were on the game and you were opening that player pick and you got it opened, before they took the SBC away, you are basically due compensation. Uh, they said, we have temporarily disabled the SBC. They're going to work on the fix. Players who had made progress will keep their progress when the SBC is live again. So if you were one of two squads done, you'll be able to be one of two squads done when the corrected SBC comes out, which as of right now, it is not out yet. And they also responded to that tweet by saying, players who received an 86 plus item will be contacted in game with the correct content in the coming days, right? We always make jokes about the coming days because it's never days. It's probably going to be a week or two before you get this compensation. But this is a little bit vaguely worded, right? Because a lot of times what they do is they only give out compensation to those people who got 86s in their player picks, right? Uh, because it should have been an 87 plus player pick. And they would argue that if you did the player pick and you packed all 87 pluses in your player pick, you weren't impacted by the issue, to which I would 100% disagree with. Because if it's an 86 plus player pick, that's going to have completely different odds in a completely different player pool than an 87 plus player pick would. But I think it saves them work because then they don't have to um, compensate everybody that opened it. They only have to compensate a decent amount of people. Now, packing the 86s in these player picks, like you see here, this guy didn't get one. He got two 87s and an 89. And then in this one, he had all three 86s. So he's probably getting one compensation player pick. That's just a guess, right? We don't know for sure. Very vague wording here from EA. But this was a classic situation of a mistake that was noticed in game. And then uh, a compensation is going to be coming. EA tweeted about it. It's, it's one of those things that I think in the past couple of years, we've really got good at noticing because we see like, okay, something's wrong there. And we know what they've done in the past to do sort of compensation type situations. And this fit right into that when we saw it yesterday. So we kind of got on that. So if you're looking for the hero player pick, that's why it's not there. Um, and you can't do it anymore to try to take advantage of the situation. But the reason I bring this up and try to talk about it today and make a, a big deal out of it, honestly, is because this sort of thing, this is the second issue that EA has had in the past, what is it, in the past weekend. On Friday, there was another issue in the store with, remember last year? Let's go back to last year and think about this. In FIFA 23, there was a couple, honestly, a couple of weeks. It was during team of the season or just after team of the season where there were so many different packs in different languages in the store that would say the wrong thing so like in spanish or i remember it was one like portuguese pack where it didn't have the word alone in the description and then it's basically like the pack would say it guarantees you two team of the season players and it wouldn't say loan right so it's like okay that description is wrong people would open the pick and it's like ea has to compensate because I think maybe for legal issues, what was advertised in the game is not exactly what was given out based on the verbiage of the description of the pack text, if you will. So they have to do compensation. And this is, again, like I said, the second issue that they've had this weekend. If any of you guys opened, I don't even know if it's still here for me, uh, but there was a there was an icon player pick. I think that's actually been taken away. There was an icon player pick in the store. If you guys did this at all, it was a 350,000 coin icon player pick, the Max 91. And in the Russian language on the companion app or on the web app, it said 91 plus icons, not Max 91. And there was after, I think, a couple of hours in the game, people were watching that exact text. There was an update to the text in the Russian language. This sounds like very nitpicky right to like dive into all these details and to look for a lot of this stuff especially for this one it is but that was a compensation situation that ea has not tweeted about but there's potential that they will give back those icon player picks or give you another icon player pick because what was opened was not exactly correct with what um you thought you were getting right the description was incorrect based off of what was supposed to be given out so all i'm saying is this is two situations now in the past weekend and what we've known and i don't know if you guys again remember last year in fever 23 there was like two or three weeks where the compensation it was like a joke every day you would log on to the game 
a new pack would drop, a new SBC would drop, and there'd be something wrong with it. It was like compensation was, there was such a long list, like five or six different things were waiting for compensation and free packs, like during team of the season. So they go on streaks with this stuff, it seems. I don't know why. Maybe it's literally a part of like them trying to build hype for the game. I, I don't think so, but I think it's just a mistake anyways. But guys, with this compensation, just watch out for more, right? So just maybe take a careful look at the content that drops every day. I know that with two of these issues happening recently, a lot of people will be watching that situation very closely. And I hope they drop the 87 plus pick back again, because it was honestly a decent hero player pick. If you want to watch us open some before they got taken down, see what they looked like. I'll link the second channel right up here. And uh, you can check that out because we did open some over there. And uh, yeah, there were some really good ones. There were also some really mid ones. Now, one thing I also want to point out is back to kind of related to the market and all that sort of thing. With that SBC dropping, informs, which are extremely low, right? We looked at informs yesterday and we're like, wow, they're 20K. Well, they're even lower now because there's still a lot of supply. Everybody can do the team of the league player pick easy peasy, right? With upgrade packs, there's even a lot of supply from the store. Informs are 18,000 coins per card, which is wild considering where they've been in the past couple of weeks. But these cards, I think we're all like 23 or 24. Like they, they started to go up a lot with that hero player pick being out. Now, part of that may have had an issue, may have had to do with the um, player pick for the heroes being glitched and stuff, but without, you know, knowing for sure, um, they did start to go up. So Informs were moving a lot on the market yesterday in terms of the fodder market. I do think informs are really low. And I think as we're going to talk about multiple times today, we're getting into a spot post team of the year on the way out of team of the year. A lot of content that's in the store. Fodder is up, but that's a part of the market that is not up as much. I think we're getting towards a spot right now where prices may start to go up a little bit. And especially with the fodder that was required for gold cards, guys, 86s are literally like max price extinct. Like almost all these cards have a max price of 12K and uh, they're about extinct. So that means we have 86s and 87s right now that are almost extinct on the market. Like literally almost all of them are not even there, which is really, really crazy and actually presents a really good investing opportunity, I think, for the next day or two on this game. Um, of course, barring that EA would not release any sort of crazy, crazy supply onto the market, which at this point of the week, right, a lot of us have opened our big time saved up packs, especially yesterday with the team of the year icons coming back into packs as expected. There was no mini release um, for honorable mentions cards. Those cards were all in the objective section that we looked at, like uh, Benini, Carolyn Nicoli, and uh, Jesus Navas. So those were not released in packs. So all of the cards are in packs now for the next four days until Friday. But like I said, with the pack supply, a lot of people have opened probably the lightning rounds and the FC points that they want to open. Sure, there will be more packs open throughout the rest of the week, but I feel like you're going to have a lot less packs open from now until Friday comparatively to what you did from like the last couple of days and even from like Thursday to yesterday on this game. And I think that might drive the supply a little bit, which could make some prices go up. So we'll talk about that in a bit. But let's talk about these cards that are in packs and these honorable mentions and the team of the year prices, a little team of the year price check right because honorable mentions specifically with their third day in packs friday saturday sunday they dropped off a lot yesterday like musiala was 300 and what was he 50k to start the day on sunday he was 300 and 344,000 coins went all the way down to 300k and he's back up just a little bit right now um, there are a lot of people investing in these cards i will tell you this right now but i think these cards are good investments Think about how packable they are. I mean, they are kind of packable, but how so many people like myself, I've opened so many upgrade packs, still haven't hit a single one of these, yet there still are a lot on the market. There, It's a weird mix of like supplied, but also rare at the same time. Trent went from 130 down to 108, and I think that's as low as he's gonna go because he is now 116 and starting to rise up a little bit. I do believe, guys, these cards will be really good investments, and here's why I wanna talk about why. We already mentioned the supply, right? They're like hard to pack, but also semi-supplied on the market. I think they're I think they're hyped because Trent with center mid, that's a pretty hyped card because people can use him as a center mid with the whipped pass plus. That's a good play style. It's Trent, good links. Almost everybody has a VVD in their team. I like Trent as an investment. I like him like low 110. Like I think 112 is the most that I would pay for a card like this. Uh, Harry Kane, I like as an investment. Kim and Jay, Musiala, Bernardo Silva. Like a lot of this team I think has potential to rise. And the reason I think that is 
These are like the cheap team of the year cards, right? That a lot of people can afford. Team of the years are crazy expensive. Yeah, the upgrades on these cards aren't that good. That's probably the thing that I think at and look at these cards in the most. Um, I think, wow, okay, these cards, the upgrades, like for most of them are not very good. And a lot of them, right, only have a, a play style plus. They didn't even get stat upgrades. That's one thing that's maybe taken me away from investing in these cards too much. Uh, but specifically for Kane, this is his best card in the market. I think Kane's price might be gone. Like he was down to 110 yesterday and he's back up to 120. It might be chalked. He's also one of the cheapest 93 rated cards in the game. But maybe for like Trent and Bernardo and even Diani, Musiala and Valverde, some of the more expensive ones, I just think we're getting close to a point that might be their low point. And I want to take a look at last year. This is the team of the year honorable mentions. I want to take a look at a couple of cards from last year. Take a look at Pedri, right? Pedri kind of had two low points. Monday of him of his card being in packs, which would be the relative time to today. He was 190,000 coins. Rose up a little bit into the week and then went down again to 190 on Thursday before going out of packs and literally goes out of packs today, this day right here, Friday the 3rd of February. He was 197. And then by the next Friday, he's up 40,000 coins to 240k. Like, what a rise. That's a crazy rise on Pedri. He even goes to 260 the next week before dropping down a good amount. Um, you know, that's not the only example either. We could take a look at a more top tier, middle tier card. Like, this Cancelo last year was very hyped. And he was decently expensive. He was like 400,000 coins. His lowest price was Sunday to Monday. He was under 400k. By the time we get to Thursday, he's 400. And then literally the next weekend, the next couple of days, he goes all the way to 500,000 coins. Look, look, at, look at that rise. From the 3rd of February last year all the way to the 8th. Five days later, he's up literally 80k. So a huge rise there. And I think that some of this team has the potential to do that as well. Um... I don't think they're all going to go crazy, and I don't know what other content EA is going to release this week to make these cards, like, drop. I do believe there still is um, that big pack that is in the store, right? I don't know if you guys remember seeing this pack code, but it's a three times guaranteed um, Team of the Year Honorable Mentions player pack. It's untradeable, but it gives you three players from Team of the Year Honorable Mentions untradeable. Now, if they drop that pack, that would probably hurt the prices of the lowest tier cards in here, like Trent and Ederson and Olga. Prices would probably get hurt a little bit. Even though it's an untradeable pack, it would probably make people that have this card sell off a little bit because it would, so many people would open that pack. That's just crazy odds, and it would be a crazy chance at packing regular Team of the Years because it's a really good pack besides the guarantee guaranteed players and the team of their honorable mentions as well so that's the thing that i could see dropping these card prices but for a lot of them i think their prices could go up like salah this salah is cheaper than the winter wild cards and yes the stat upgrade is like nothing but he's got finesse plus still and he's got a four star weak foot and that's better than all of his other items on the game in terms of the weak foot uh diani i've picked up two dianis at like 530k i like her card because she's very rare big um, very big name player, very popular this year. Diani is. So that's why I picked up a couple of her one at 525, one at 530 could get burned on that. Right. I'm also looking for investments right now. And I don't know if any of you guys are in this boat, but I'm looking for an investment right now that I can sit on for a couple of days while I'm going to be just ripping packs, right? 525. Here's the one that I got. I'm just going to be ripping packs for like the next four to five days, trying to pack a team of the year although it seems impossible. But that's kind of why I made those investments. I also picked up a couple of Kim and Jay uh, just because I think there's potential for those to rise. Maybe it's next week, but I'm fine with that. I want to sit on some cards and hopefully see their prices rise. Now, that's a lot to talk about honorable mentions, but I think they could do well. So I wanted to spend that time talking about them. Let's look at the team of the year cards as well. Still rising. Like, Renard was 2 mil yesterday, now she's 2.2. Millie Bright's 700k, Oberdorf is 800,000 coins, Karchawi's 2 mil, Sophia Smith might be 2.5 today. Like, these cards just keep going, and there's nothing to stop them at the moment. There's more coins on the game, and these cards are not getting packed, and people feel that every single day. I do feel like some of these cards still could go higher. Um, nothing was released yesterday in terms of the pack late or in terms of new packs that made me scared for the supply of these cards at all. And until something changes, then I don't think these cards are going to drop that much because they are head and shoulders clear above the rest of the meta of the game of the two play styles. And I could just think back to the, I used Sam Kerr in draft and her card was just disgusting, right? Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have had similar experiences with the team of your card. Their stats are so good with the two play style pluses. They are so meta. 
and it looks like they're just going to keep going up, at least for the short term. Yesterday, speaking of pack odds, they actually adjusted them down just a tiny bit. The team of the year percentage was 3.8 on the 400k pack. Now it's 3.6. But I will say, as we open one premium pack here, just because you got to test it out, I will say on my Twitter timeline, on my X posting timeline, I've seen more team of the years in the past, I don't know, like five to six hours. So I don't know if that's a trend or anything, but I'm seeing a lot more team of the years. I'm going to be ripping through the, a ton of my packs still, doing all the upgrades that are in the store to give myself a shot. That's what this week is about, right? Giving yourself a shot. But whenever you're packed out and all that, then so be it. Uh, guys, do these team of the crafting upgrades as well. Rinse your comments into these. I think it is clear. You can now pack the icons from these as well. I was tweeted yesterday by somebody who packed Mateus in one of these. Like, it's rare, but it's possible. You got to give yourself at least a shot. Now, all that talking, let's talk about today on Monday. What SBCs are we expecting today? What content are we expecting today on this game? First thing I want to say is more pack grinding, right? Just as we mentioned, a couple of the SBCs are refreshing here in the upgrade section. I think the 80, 86 plus single player upgrade, the 85.3, what is it, Defenders? I think is coming back today as well. Yeah, the 85.3 Defenders. And last call. Or not last call. I guess kind of it is. Today's a big day for fodder. Um, as in the milestones tab, everybody who has been keeping up to date with the team of the year daily login, it's glitched right now. That's what this thing. Whenever you see this like red bar with the coins, it's glitched. I'm going to restart the game or else it won't load. Everybody gets an 83 times 20 for completing the whole segment of the daily login today. Today's day 14, right? And you also get an 85 times three for 14 SBC completion. So a lot of fodder is going to be given out today, which means a lot of people are going to be going and doing SBCs, which we didn't get Saliba yet. And EA Sports, I don't know where this guy Saliba is. Yesterday would have been a great day to drop his SBC, but they still didn't do it. Um, and now after the leaks that we had yesterday as well, we still have a Saliba that is to come. And I believe we still have a Kubo because Kubo was a leaked card. He was not dropped inside of the award rewards yesterday for the cup where the other honorable mentions were dropped. So I guess Kubo and Saliba will be our SBCs. I guess watch out for an EA content tweet to see if there's anything else coming this week as well. But those are the two player SBCs I'd be watching out for. I'm ready for Saliba EA. Like, why are you why are you holding this SBC out on us? Like, come on, Saliba, one last SBC, make it a good one. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, the game is like literally gonna crash on me. I searched there and nothing shows up. Shout out to the menus. Um, and uh, yeah, I just think it's going to be a good day for crafting SBCs, which if you stuck around at the end of the video, I have a little bit of an investment tip for you. It's a fodder one. So if you're not a fodder kind of guy, maybe, you know, take this with whatever you will. If we want, don't want to grind that much, but 85s, I, I love 85s for a short term flip with a lot of the supply ending, right? I do. We do have weekend league rewards that are still coming here and there because weekend leagues extended again, and it's still going to be out and available until tomorrow. Um, with 86s being extinct, 87s are extinct. And the fact that all 85s were already 6,000 coins earlier yesterday, I think this is a no brainer. Get on some bids for 85s. Try to get them like four, seven is incredible. I was going to say under 5k. I think they're going to be rising up today, but with the refresh of SBCs, people crafting and maybe not having as many packs available, but getting an 83 times 20 and an 85 times three today, that's going to make people want to go out and do more SBCs in my opinion, especially as they refresh. Uh, so I think those 85s at that price are a good buy. 84s, I don't know if they're going to go up much, but if you get them on minimum bid price for 1.1, there's no risk there. You could probably, I mean, 84s, if you're like Nate, I just want a full send after team of the year. I want a full send an investment and not think about it for like two or three weeks and just check the price periodically until they go up. 84s and 85s are no brainer. 84s at 1.2K is so cheap. I look at the rest of the year, like they've gone to 4K. I mean, when he went on a pack, I went to 8K. I could see in the next month at some point, 84 is at like two and a half to 3,000 coins. And that is insane money. If you go crazy in a sign, you buy a bunch of these cards, it's probably going to happen. So I would buy those if you want to just say, I'm going to buy this and step away and not care about my coins for a while. Just play the game. That's a good investment there. But the 85s are probably more for this week. They could be long term as well. I think those are two good investments. The rest of the fodder market is just to the moon, but it probably is just going to go higher. Again, unless they add new packs to the store or they run different lighting rounds, which at this point in time, it seems like they don't want to do. And if you're like, Nate, I'm not a fodder guy. What should I trade with? I would just get on bids. Um, you can't see it because the game is glitched, but I'll just show you right now. So many of these cards are moving daily and they have crazy fluctuations. Like I picked up a Rafinha winter wild cards. You might've saw it on my transfer list. 
picked this card up for 289. He was down a lot yesterday after he was 330k. Um, and even on Saturday, 340, between 300 and like 330. That's a really good fluctuation. Yeah, you've got like 15 to 17k of tax right there. But like if you can get him for 300k flat and then sell him for 330 or 340, that's awesome profits. Get on bids, guys. Look at these out-of-pack special cards um, and just notice which ones have good fluctuations. Again, maybe be a little bit careful of a center back or a right wing like a Kubo or Saliba when they would drop, moving the market a bit. But the market is ripe right now. There are a lot of coins in the market. I'm getting good lazy sales. Like uh, like last night in the video, I might you might have seen it. I sold a Diani for um, 649,000 coins when she was like 570K. So you can get lazies on this game if you want to do some lazy listing as well especially with the team of the year honorable mentions i think these cards are going to lazy really well as they will be the most affordable cards for the cup and since you can use them in the cup um you know probably bernardo trent make sure you if you're going to lazy trade uh, lazy list cards put chem styles on them or buy ones with chemistry styles those sell better as people are buying those cards last thing to point out today very last thing we already mentioned it but the fc pro live group d is in action today that means tex is in action which means calvin phillips card will be watched a lot today how much is he right now he's 47k um you know this card might rise a little bit today just in the hype of tex playing yesterday he even went up he went from 45 to 50 so maybe if you can get him at like 46 or 47 he's probably going to go above 50 today uh just in the hope that tex can pull off something crazy and get this card upgraded uh further than last time so i don't pay attention to these cards that much and you know selling in the hype is always a safe play but you never know there's going to be a lot of hype for a card like that today but other than that we're grinding through the packs we're grinding through the menus and um yeah usually mondays when they have the fc pro live stuff is a bit of a slower day man look at these menus how glitched out they can be bro it's it's a matter of time before it literally glitches out of me we're having problems on the youtube videos now we usually only had problems in the streams now i can't even load my transfer targets this game man it is some sort of messed up right now, that is for sure. But I think that's going to be a video for, for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. S subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel video. And tell me if you packed any team of the years down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys there. Peace.